This is going to be a short video on how to create and work with, uh, well, configure in-app guidances. So we have our generic org again, brand new. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Let's go into our settings. Let's go into in-app guidance. And here we'll have our settings option. And if you have something, you'll notice that you'll be able to edit it. And if you don't, then you can go ahead and start a new. For our sakes, it's going to be new. This is again new org. So let's just go jump right in. Let's go into our accounts. This I can put the in-app guidance here. I can put the in-app guidance in our accounts into our details related, whichever area I really need. You know the users to actually have um, you know to get their attention basically. Um, in-app guidances are really great when you're dealing with uh, you know perhaps some new users. You're dealing you're doing training. Um, users are coming from classic to lightning, right? So we can go ahead and we can create the in-app guidances relative to, you know, their needs. And as well as uh, we can also create it based on uh, specific profiles, timing, and uh, other factors. So let's just dive right in. Um, top right corner, you're going to see your ad. Uh, you notice top left, this is in-app guidance builder, right? Similar to process builder, but in-app guidance builder. Uh, so Let's go ahead and start. Uh, we can do a single prompt, so it'll just be like one thing on the on the page, kind of giving an idea of what they need to do, or we can do a walkthrough. Uh, for this scenario, let's do a little bit of a complex. So let's go through a walkthrough. Um, there's three options, whether you're doing with the regular, you know, with the regular one, the single, or you're doing a walkthrough, you're still gonna have the three options. So we can do a float, right? We can float this uh, perhaps anywhere on the page. Uh, dismiss that. It's going to give us options where we want it on the page. Uh, we can do a doc prompt, so bottom bottom right corner. So when they kind of get into this, uh, let's say, details page, then uh, this will just pop up and then it'll give them some information. Perhaps we want to go into step-by-step -step process, which that's what we'll do. Um, but for this scenario, let's do all three. Um, Let's say in the beginning, we're just going to um, start with the doc. Okay, let's select doc. Uh, at that scenario, okay, so when you when they first come in, they'll be doc, then we'll go next. Uh, header, I guess welcome. Let's just call it welcome, just, just for the sake of this. Um, welcome to uh, accounts page, oops, details. Uh, body I mean you can put anything you want obviously you you don't want to make it generic as I'm doing right now is because uh, you know we're just I'm doing quick short videos but uh, you want to populate it with as um, key to details and obviously uh, simple to understand for your users so you know they can go ahead and uh, basically go right on through Afterwards, we have a few more options. Okay, so we have upload image or link. So basically, you can upload it from your PC or you can use the link. Um, we can do a video. and But for this sake, I think we're pretty much done. So you'll notice step one out of one. Um, we can I leave it at this or, we you know, there'll be a finish button or we can just go next step. Well, obviously, we're doing step by uh, multi-step. So we're just going to add another step from the top right. Uh, for this scenario, we can go ahead and do a float prompt. Just, you know, for this sake, we can just float the prompt anywhere. Um, let's dismiss that. As we scroll down, this is basically the grid where the float will come up. So you, do we want it right in the center, right? So middle center, like right there. Uh, do we want top right, top left, bottom right, bottom left? It's really relative where you want it. Um, but for this simplicity, I mean, let's just say uh, we want it uh, top right. Just want it right there, right? So this maybe doesn't block everything. We just want it top right. Uh, we can go ahead, scroll down. Um, obviously, custom uh, theme and colors are you know turned off. We can do that in um, you know in a single prompt. And let's go next. So title. So let's just call this step two, just for simples, you know. And our body of description will be uh, step two. Um, uh, please select type and industry. Oopsie. There we go. Period. 
Um, same idea, you can upload your, you know, little image, a little image will pop up here, or, um, you know, you can use the link. Dismiss button, basically the little button over here, you want to dismiss it. Um, you can type in whatever you want, like uh, thanks or dismiss. We'll just leave it as dismiss in genetic general. Um, we can go ahead and add a third step now. Third step would be a uh, target prompt. So target prompt is pretty much where do you want it on the page to kind of pop out? Where do you want it to zoom in basically? So let's do a target prompt. We'll go next. Um, let's actually go back for a sec because I forgot to show you that you can actually set it based on uh, target mode. So target mode is where do you want it on the page? So if we click that, right, we'll be able to kind of hover over and it'll exactly tell you where do you want it. For example, here, we can select the areas right over here. You can, as you can see, we can basically select everything. Everything's customizable. Let's say we want to, you know, we want to select it right here. Let's say it's because it's bigger. Um, if you if you click the check mark over here, we'll be able to actually select it. Where do you want the prompt to be located? So let's say we want it from the top, uh, or we want it from the left, right? You'll notice it's from the left. It's so pointing, and uh, top, center, bottom. It really depends where do you want this. Uh, you know, this pop-up or prompt to basically come into play. Uh, let's leave it there for now, just for, you know, simple sake. Once we go next, we can call this step three. Step three, and let's just put it again as body as step three. Obviously, again, you know, you want to make it as detailed as possible. Again, we can add our images, right? Or, and we can actually uh, set our dismiss. We'll just keep, well, well, let's call it thanks. Just, or yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, once we're done here, it's not like it's going to be another finish button or anything. It's just you can uh, make sure you click save. If you click done, nothing's going to happen. It's not going to save anything. You've just done everything for nothing. Um, so let's just click save. Once you're in the save process, this is where it kind of it gets in a little more into details. Right. So we can go ahead and add a link, basically. So if we want to add a link, um, let's say... Let's say you want to show a link to a trailhead, something where they can uh, get a little bit of educational background or they can get a little bit um, more idea of perhaps from a different external site. We'd go ahead and populate it over here. So like uh, C, C link, right? And the link, let's just call it uh, uh, www.google.com, right? Um, HTTP, I'm guessing, HTTP slash slash. There we go. Uh, then let's go next. This is obviously generic. You want to make sure you put uh, exactly where you want your link to go to. Uh, schedule. So basically, for schedules, you can uh, you can have a start date, right? There's an end time as well, right? Um, do you want the uh, timing? So let's say if we click, uh, let's say we want timing. Uh, how many days, right? Let's say ten days, twenty days. How many days in between, right? So let's say 10, uh, two days in between, so it's going to come up, what, 10 times, right? Um, so you can kind of work around with whatever you really want to do over here. Uh, but um, that's basically the idea. Basically, you, how, many day, how many times in a day do you want it to kind of pop up? Uh, this is where we were talking about earlier. I mentioned that you can do it on specific uh, profiles, right? Let's say a specific profile, uh, new profiles, new users, um, you know, they need to get a little bit more experience. We can go ahead and set it up over here. Um, no restrictions would basically mean uh, absolutely everybody. And specific profiles, we can go ahead and kind of select the profile we want to deal with. Let's say uh, marketing user or, um, well, we don't want read-only standard user, right? So these are the profiles that would, be, that would go ahead and actually have the specific prop pop up for them. Right, so let's say you have a training process. You know, you usually put your um, users from classic to lightning. Then uh, maybe you have a profile for that. Uh, then you would go ahead and select that. So that way, as they go through, they will go ahead and um, you know they will go ahead and they would actually have these options or pop ups as as they go along. Uh, permissions. Permissions is interesting. So what permissions do they have? Right. So all permissions basically. Um, all user permissions we can do, or we can do based on specific permissions. Let's say um, uh, 
you know, some users have access to specific areas, you know, um, marketing users, sales users, everybody will have access to their specific permissions for them to see absolute, uh, you know, the, the, the data basically for their, uh, for their needs. Uh, you go ahead and, and you would add those permissions through here. So let's say if you wanted to just pop up for everybody, then you would go, you know, no permissions, restrain, no restriction basically. But um, it's always a good idea to kind of have, uh, you don't want to pop it, populate for everybody. So maybe you want to do it, um, you know, basically perhaps uh, for specific permissions. Uh, let's say you're trying to do user training on reports right like how to execute properly or anything like that then we can go ahead and we can set that whoever has the permission for it right uh, obviously this is not the one but the, if you know you have a specific permission let's say on reports uh, or executions or anything like that then we can go ahead and we can actually uh, set those props up for them and then we go across so they'll have the profile we already set the profile and the permission so we can actually leave the profile blank and then we can still select just the permissions right um, it's really relative where you kind of work in your org so make sure you do have an understanding of obviously of your specific org what your needs are before you continue this is just basically generic to give you an idea of what you can do with it and some of the things you know that can help you out along the way so let's finish that off okay so API name I'm sure you're the you're aware of the naming process and the API, what that's all about. So make it very, um, the description, always put a good description, you know, helping other users is always the best. Um, but for my sake, it's just gonna be test one, right? Test one, API test one, description test one, simple and easy, um, you know, just populating it. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, we can copy that link if we want, but uh, let's just go ahead and save. Once we save, everything's pretty much basically done. Um, and it should be up and up. So if we just go done, there will be no prompts for us. We go back to our uh, in-app guidance, refresh the page. Now you'll notice that, uh, you know, we have a little bit of a, data information over here, how many views, completed, packages, uh, active. So you do have an activation. If you click on the little arrow over here, you can set reset the metrics, uh, review. You, know, you could do a preview, I guess, if you want to go through it. Uh, let's see what else we got over here that we can play around with. Deactivate, obviously, and delete. Um, so let's, uh, let's see our preview. Okay, so step one, perfect. Step two, we put it up here. Okay, that looks great. Step three, boom, kind of in app. And that's, hopefully that kind of helps you out. Here's our link. If we click it, it'll go to Google, exactly how we wanted it. Uh, let's say if you're doing training process, then obviously that will go into something where, you know, you have your training, uh, training documentation or, you know, guidelines or whatever you need to. Uh, hopefully that helped you out and cheers.